We all know that eating healthy and exercising is important, but it's especially important for kids when it comes to their academic achievement. Why? Because research shows that students perform and behave better in school when they eat nutritious meals filled with fruits and vegetables, participate in PE class, spend time in recess, are given brief classroom activity breaks, and participate in extracurricular physical activities. Students can also perform better when school health services are in place to help them manage chronic conditions like asthma and diabetes. CDC Healthy Schools support state-level programs that focus on increasing the health of youth so they can reach their full potential. In Missouri, we have nearly 3,000 students in school with either type 1 or type 2 diabetes. When the National Diabetes Education Program updated their guidelines, helping the student with diabetes succeed, a guide for school personnel, we recognize that our busy school nurses would need a way to efficiently learn about the updates. The updates included information about meal planning, carbohydrate counting, using smartphones for blood glucose tracking, and the first mention of type 2 diabetes as well as a section on psychosocial issues. These are really important updates for nurses. We collaborated with Carol Cox at Truman University and Katherine Park, a school nurse in the Parkway School District, to develop a rapid e-learning module. Our school nurses love the rapid e-learning approach, which we call just-in-time learning. More than half of our 1,500 school nurses reviewed the learning module within the first few months, and the evaluation showed a significant increase in knowledge. CDC Healthy Schools congratulates the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services for their efforts to improve the well-being of their students. To learn more about initiatives happening in your state, be sure to visit the CDC Healthy Schools website.